Alright everybody, this is Versus Loco, the motherfucking horror cholo. At it again with another video. Um, pretty hilarious, but this is actually my third try. I'm trying to film this fucking thing. Because something always keeps happening. But, let's get it over with. I'm kind of out of the mood now. I just want to get this over with. And get this posted. We're going to start with the non-horror stuff first. And uh, we're going to jump right into it. We have Jumanji Steelbook. Amazing little steel book right here. Actually even looks like the board game on the inside. Great little thing to have right here. Good movie. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. And right here we got Terminator 2, Judgment Day on 4K. Another great movie right here. And this one's a little bit newer. Um, Brawl and Cell Block 99. This is actually a really, really good movie. I've been hearing so many positive things about it. They're usually sometimes when you hear so many positive things, it makes you kind of get a negative outlook on it when you actually watch it. But this one was actually a really good movie. Different, very different, but I liked it. <clears throat> and then we got 4K Mayhem right here. Um, this is another one I really enjoyed. Um, I actually think this is probably Joe Lynch's best work. Um, this is good movie right there. Good movie. Um, so now let's go into a little bit more of the mainstream horror stuff and then we'll start going into more of the um, kind of name brand um, horror stuff. So here we got the Stranger Things uh, Blu-ray season one. Um, this one actually I got uh, for $9 um, Black Friday sale. Pretty good. Then we got uh, Better Watch Out. I actually really enjoyed this Christmas movie. I thought they did a really good job on this one. Definitely one I'm going to be watching every Christmas. And actually, I feel like watching it right now. Uh, this one was actually a recommendation from my cousin. And I um, really don't even know what to say. But I um, always feel welcome to have a new uh, horror movie in my collection. So it will sit there. Um, but we got Chillerama. <clears throat> Then we got Krumpus. I actually did not enjoy this movie, but I do like the effects. Um, so yeah, the effects and sceneries are really good in this movie. And then this one, if you don't think of it in the franchise, I think that it's actually a really good movie. If you look at it, it's not even a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie or anything like that, and just look at it as a kind of standalone movie, I think they did a good job on this one. So that Le uh, Leatherface. Um, now we're going to start going to more of the name brand kind of stuff. Um, here we have Vinegar Syndrome's Ice Cream Man. I actually really, really like this movie. Um, I'm glad that it finally got a good uh, Blu-ray release. And also good special features on it. Amazing slipcover. Um, they just did all around really good with this movie. Um, let's see. Now let's go into the arrows. Um, we got The Witch That Came From The Sea. Still have not we got a chance to watch this one yet. Actually, all the Arrow movies that I just got from there. I haven't watched any of them yet. Um, the Premonition. Carnival of Blood. <clears throat> now we're going to start going into the Scream Factory stuff. Um, we're going to start off with the ones that are not collector's editions. And then start going with the ones that are actually collector's editions. So here we have Candy Man 2, Farewell to the Flesh. Great movie. American Gothic. This one I actually have not seen yet, so we'll check that out, see what it's like. Dark Summer. I actually really enjoy these IFC Midnight movies. They're actually really good. The Survivalist. Cherry Falls. Now we're going to go into the Scream Factory, or I'm sorry, the Collector's Editions, which you can never go wrong with Scream Factory's Collector's Editions. This is the one that I got that does not have a slipcover, so we'll start with that one. Um, we got The Howling, Deadly Blessing, Old School Wes Craven, Silent Night, Deadly Night, amazing, amazing release right here, beautiful cover. Um, they did a good job on that one. Hell Knight, same thing. It has a really, really good transfer. Um, good cover. Looks really good. Um, Misery, same thing here. Amazing transfer, good movie. Um, awesome new artwork. And then here, we have the last but not least um, from Synapse. Um, this is Dario Argento's Suspiria Steelbook, which they did a fucking incredible job on this one. This is the slip cover that they have for the Steelbook. And then right there. We have the cover, the back of it, the spine, and then this thing 
has three discs. They just did an amazing job on this. The book that came with it as well. Yeah, they did an awesome, awesome, awesome job on that. Good transfer. Um, just beautiful steel book. Gotta have all those steel books. And then, um, let's see, we got the, that's it with the movies. Um, we got the NECA toy that actually came with Silent Night, Deadly Night, which NECA's actually been doing a really, really good job as well with their releases. Definitely something also I've been collecting. And then this one is kind of funny. My lady and my cousin actually got me the same thing. But it's good though because I'm able to display one of them, take them out of the box, and another one save it. So we got uh, the good guy ultimate action figure right here. Which this thing is fucking incredible. I'm actually really happy I got to open this one up and display it because it looks amazing. There you go. So that's all I got. Until next time, um, we'll come out with a new video for the 20 people that actually watch this thing. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Go ahead and like this motherfucker. And we out. Boom.